Hey y'all, welcome back. My uh, main computer with all my business stuff on it's running out of space, so I picked me up a Kingston NV2, one terabyte solid state drive, NVMe dot M.2, uh, one terabyte. This is one of the, probably the bigger names in uh, solid state drives, Kingston, uh, Samsung, stuff like that. But this is the Kingston model. Uh, we're not going to unbox that yet because that's all you get right there. There's your whole module. So that's a one terabyte drive. And then we're going to, we're going to clone it with this enclosure for uh, M.2 NVMe uh solid state drive so I can plug it into my computer and clone it just it's going to be essentially just a flash drive USB stick operation with just a USB cable instead but uh looking at some reviews and this one looked like one of the better ones so let's open her up and see what's in it another thing you can use these for is you just have yourself a compact version of a removable hard drive with this so i think that's what they're originally made for your uh your pluggable hard drive that you want to save video and pictures to which in the end when i take the other one out i'll be able to use that that old one it's only a 250 uh, gigabyte drive and then I'm going to put that on there and use it in the enclosure anyway and just keep it as a little backup drive for... All right, so there you go. You got your little booklet, your instruction manual. Looks uh, to be pretty clear in English. It's got regular, you know, instructions, not just pictograms like a little guy holding a screwdriver or whatever. So you got that. Got a little uh, USB-C to USB-C adapter cable uh, you got two screws in the hardware bag for uh, well one of them's the screw and one of them's the uh, little bracket that it mounts into to hold your NVMe drive down uh, they also include two little pieces of heat transfer foam which I guess yeah you want to use that inside your enclosure when when you're using it long term that way you're uh, your cooling will come out to the little aluminum case there. So there's your case. Easy open. Got a little screw back in the back. Pops out. Pops out right there. So that's the whole operation it looks like. All right, give me a minute. I'll get the stuff opened up and we'll take a look. Okay, I also found a USB-C type cable uh, in the box there that was hidden behind my view. So, all right, what we do is it says you put the uh, the little the threaded nut. Got a hex on the top there that's got to fit down in the hole. There it goes. Set, uh, doggone it. It doesn't stay very well, so we'll leave that in there. Let's take the... Uh, and usually they have a little pop out on here, but I don't see one. So gingerly, since uh, this is a solid state piece, you want to make sure you're static grounded and safe from destroying your drive before it even gets in the box. So let's pull this out here cautiously. Comes in packaged nice, so it's not going to drop out on you. And this is the. Uh, uh, the B key, I think. But this one does accept the this one right here. So you want to pop it in, line up your keys, put a little force into it. It'll feel it click in. Put that down there. Take your little brass nut. And if you did it correctly, the uh, bottom piece should lock in there by itself because it's got a little hex on top, so you know you're in there right. And there you go, you should be. Since I'm gonna go ahead and swap this one out, I'm not gonna put those on yet, but we'll uh, we'll put that on the, the next one when we get it all put back together. 
and then let's see which way she go right there locks in place and then you want to get her back out you just click the loop again so there you go now you got your little hard drive uh enclosure one terabyte size if that's the way you want to go plug it in your computer your laptop your phone you're set to go all right i'm gonna go clone it and uh if i find anything else i'll let you know thanks for watching